All right, guys. Jeez, that beard's looking pretty bloody orange, isn't it? It's meant to be brown, not orange. Anyways, we move on. This was meant to be a serious video. I just started it with a joke. But what we're about to talk about is no joke. And I need to talk. I need to talk to you guys. I need to talk to my audience. I need to run through a few things. These are my options. We're talking about football. We're talking about putting myself in the best position possible to perform at my best at this upcoming NFL Combine that is crazy for me to even think about uh, being in, but it's the truth. I'm in it, okay? The NFL or the NFL International Combine, you know, group of, of people or group of companies or whoever's running it, I think it's, it might be a company called Pacific Sports Management. I'm not sure. But anyways, regardless of that, my flights and my accommodation are going to be paid for. I'm getting a, a, a trip shouted to this combine, which is the case for all of the athletes selected. So it really is the best athletes that are going to be going. And geez, lo and behold, I'm apparently one of them. Now, will I be one of them? We don't know yet. But I need to put myself in the best position possible so that I can be. Because this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. It really is. You know, I, 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 I truthfully feel that this success and this rise with my YouTube channel happened at this time for, for a reason. You know? And so, here are my options, right? I've got three options. They, they run in levels of, um, you know, uh, out there-ness, I guess you could say. So the first one is for me to reattempt my trip down to Melbourne. If you guys have followed me for any length of time, you might have seen that I tried to go to my first ever football training down in Melbourne. Uh, that was about three or four weeks ago now. I missed my flight. Well, I didn't miss my flight. My flight was ke uh, delayed. So I got down to Melbourne late, couldn't make the training, in which case I couldn't play, uh, I couldn't play my first game, which I was meant to that weekend and it all went to shit. But I did go to the game, I met a few people, I met the coaches and, you know, watched my first live down of Australian club football. So that was great. I came back to Alice Springs and lo and behold, I got this offer to go to this combine. Now, I had only heard of it whilst I was down in Melbourne. So it took the NFL two weeks to send me an email and invite me to the combine, which I said, yes, sweet, October the 5th, you're going to be in the Gold Coast, we're going to fly you out, we're going to accommodate you, and do your best. <laughs> so here I am, little old Alice Springs, never played football in my life, never put a helmet on in my life, until yesterday, actually, I received a helmet from, my, from a subscriber, um, but it's not a playing helmet. So, look, I could either go down to Melbourne, do it again, try and train on the Wednesday, play on the Saturday, come back to Alice, having a little bit of experience, and, you know, go to the combine with that. Or, I could do that, but also add in a, an assessment or a meeting with Pro Kick Australia. Now, Pro Kick Australia is the agents or the, you know, the, the, the academy that work with Australian punters who want to go and play college football. They want to go and get a successful scholarship at a college and play football as a punter. Now I've been on the phone with Nathan this morning. I'm, I gave him a call, you know, things are getting serious, all right? I'm not going to be playing any games anymore. I need to know where I'm at, athletics wise. And kicking as well. So I gave him a call, we were on the phone for half an hour this morning. He explained so much to me. It was invaluable, the conversation. I'm so glad I made it. But I'm sitting here right now with an offer to go and spend Friday, Saturday and Sunday with the group, with him, and run through their weekend of training. So I think on the Friday they do a kicking session, uh, followed by a gym session. On Saturday it's uh, another gym session I think, Sunday's technique, whatever. It's three days of, of training like they would be doing to become a kicker. So I could go down there and see someone rattle off a 60 yard punt, 60 yard perfect spiral and think, fucking hell. Gee, so that's what you gotta be like. Or they could be hitting 45 yard kicks and I could come along and, and match them straight away. You know, I don't know. 
And he doesn't know, Nathan doesn't know. He, he, he gave me all the information I need to make a decision whether I wanted to go down and join in for a weekend. So, with that being said, what I could do is go down on Tuesday, the day before, I don't want to miss my flight again, I don't want to miss the training, go to the Monash Warriors football training on the Wednesday. On the Friday, go to Pro Kick in the morning. I think it's 6.30 in the morning, it starts on a Friday, and go to their training, 6.30 till 9. On Saturday, Saturday morning, go and train with them again in the gym, and then Saturday afternoon, play for uh, Monash War uh, Barbarians in the Victorian Club American Football League. And then on Sunday, go and train again with Pro Kick, and then on Monday, come back to Alice Springs. So leave on Tuesday, training Wednesday, training Friday, training Saturday, game Saturday, training Sunday, back Monday. And out of that I would have got my first proper football training under my belt, my first proper football game under my belt, my first actual assessment with Pro Kick Australia, which is the leading you know, the leading group that's going to get anyone in Australia to a college. They have all the connections, everything. So I could get all of that out of six days and then come back to Alice Springs, prepare myself for another two weeks and then head off to the Gold Coast. So basically guys, I've been looking at flights the whole morning, the whole day. I have. Jetstar, Qantas, Virgin, trying to get a, a good price, trying to go down on the right days, trying to work it all out in my head. You know, I'm going to have to take time off work, I'm going to have to drop some money on, on accommodation, flights, all that shit. But it's worth it, man. Because what did I just say? I just told you all that shit that I'm going to get out of this six day trip. And you know, I'm not mucking around. You know, you might have seen my football training day seven video. I, I, whatever I do down there at the field, it's not going to be good enough. Whatever I do, it's going to be... It's going to be the wrong thing. I need to get to proper fucking football training with a proper fucking football coach who can see me run, who can put me in a position and give me, you know, what I need to hear is can you play or can you not? Are you a joker or are you a fucking player? Are you a dreamer or are you a real player? I need to be told this, man. Shit, I'm 27. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be hurt, alright? I'm going to take it on the chin. And if I, think, if I think I've got potential to come back next year, I might do that, but I'm 20, 27 years old. Like I said to this guy Nathan on the, on the phone, you know, I'm not a fucking 18, 19 year old, no, no life experience, you know, I'm, I'm mature, I can take criticism, constructive criticism, and I felt like we got along on the phone. So, you know what, I've, I've, I have made my decision, I just needed to pull this camera out and make this video, because I will be going to Melbourne, and it will be next week. And I will be doing everything I just told you. And I will be vlogging the whole thing. And I'll be telling you guys how it went. <sighs> so I better book some flights. And in the meantime, guys, stay tuned. Stay fucking tuned. Because the reality is, even if I am shit, even if I'm a lot worse than what I think, because deep down, guys, you know, I, I don't make calls on my own play without believing that I can do that. You know what I mean? I'm not a fucking, I'm not a dreamer. I know I'm not. And there are a lot of dreamers out there. And I'm just willing to pay a bit of money to put myself in a good position to know what I'm doing at this combine. That's what I want. I want to know what I'm fucking doing. Slightly. And there was a third option, which I wasn't going to mention, but I may as well. There's a guy, Dave Rodriguez, over in America. I don't know if you're watching this, bruh. But if you are... This guy is an athlete. He is a D1, you know, scholarship type athlete. And he is offered a week or two weeks worth of training alongside of him in America prior to this combine. So I could, you know, do everything in Melbourne, come Monday, fly from Melbourne straight to LA, and then fuck, and then I have to go LA to bloody New York. And then start training with them for a week. And then come back to Australia and do it. I mean, it's pretty out there. It's pretty damn out there. But, I mean, the, the shit that I've seen this guy doing, it just looks amazing. You know, I, I'd actually be able to train on proper football pitches. You know, nice ground, nice cones, nice grass. You know, proper 
actual quarterbacks, defensive backs to train against, train with. You know, like he said, he said it would be a hell of a lot of fun. Regardless of, you know, how serious we're taking it, it would be fun. And that's the kind of thing I like. I love, I love training. I love, you know, competition. I love getting better at something. I love having a goal and, and reaching it, or at least reaching for it. And that's what this whole thing is, man. This whole football thing is a fucking huge goal that has just been building, 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 building. And I'm either going to be brought right back down to earth, or I might be right on the side here, you know, slowly, slowly trying to get up, or I could really surprise myself and land right on the top. Who fucking knows? Not me, and not you. So, like I said before, come along for the ride. If you've liked this video, please press like. If you want to subscribe, please do. And I'm going to book some flights. Peace out, guys. This is... I'm excited, man. I'm excited. And I don't do things in half measures. We out here, baby. We out here. Woo!